everyone. So I am reading through my current TBR. I am reading a chapter or so a day of each. So I thought that hmm, maybe I would start on my next TBR, which is this. I have decided to mainly go with very thin books, as you can see, except for like a couple of them are thick. That's because I didn't have any thinner ones in these genres. Now, the funny thing is, like I said before, I'm having a hard time remembering uh, what genre is which, except for the last one I definitely know is like dystopia and stuff. So this book right here, I want to say it's either classic or some kind of literary. And I'm pretty sure the smiley face ones are kids ones, like children's books. So I usually do two of each, but this time I couldn't find another one for this. Either I don't have any more or I just can't find them because I am taking these out of my garage. So let's see. What? I should turn the light on. Uh, that really didn't help very much. Okay, so let's see what this book is. Okay. Yep. So literary. So this is The Elegance of the Hedgehog. Now, I heard Words of a Reader, I believe, talk about this. And I think she said she rated it low at first and then she got to the ending and then she changed her, her rating to a higher one. And... Yeah, so I found this like at a used bookstore that is like called Books Revisited. And I just dropped you guys. Sorry about that. It's called Books Revisited. Um so it wasn't all that expensive and I'm but and I thought, well, I like the premise of it. It's not very expensive. I'm just gonna pick it up. So I hope I like it because like I said, thank God it wasn't a whole lot of money. But I think it's something I'm gonna like. It's supposed to be about this concierge, and I guess in Paris they're kind of stereotyped as like not of great intelligence and such. And um, she said to be is short, ugly, and plump. Uh, she's addicted to television soaps. Her only genuine attachment is to her cat, Leo. In short, she is everything society expects from a concierge at a something building in a posh Parisian neighborhood. But Renee, I guess her name was Renee, has a secret. She is a ferocious autodidactic who devours art, philosophy, and music, and Japanese culture. So yeah, I think this might be a character I want to read about. And then there's this little girl who apparently is like fed up with society and stuff like that. So yeah. And you gotta love the title. So these two... What are these two? Okay, I think these are children's. I think they're both children. Maybe I ran out of paper. But let's see what this one is. This one is... Oh, Goosebumps book. Yay. I've been totally in the mood to read, read Goosebumps, as you guys know. And we just watched this one on Netflix not too long ago, like the TV adaptation. And that is The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, which is about these kids who go to visit their grandparents. And they see these scarecrows, like, moving and stuff. The next one, I wonder what this one is. See, like I told you, I tried to pick small, small books. Okay. This one is, oh, Island of the Blue Dolphin. So I can't remember if I actually ever finished this book, but I know I picked it up years ago when I was younger, like when I was in grade school. And these are the type of stories that I really love, you know. 
basically, from what I remember, it's about a girl that gets left behind on an island and she has to survive through the years. I think it's supposed to be based on a true story, uh, somewhat, but it is very fictionalized. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this because I wanted to read more literary stuff and yeah. So let's move on to the smiley face ones. This one's a shorter piece of art. Sorry, the thing is I got a double sided tape. Okay. When I first got this, because I didn't really do it double sided. Like I said, I just didn't pay attention, so like all the my first wrap ups here are just like total crap. So, so this one is. Oh, this one's Tuck Everlasting. So I enjoyed the movie and I read um, The Search for Delicious uh, by Natalie Babbitt. So I'm hoping I like this one because I did enjoy the movie and I enjoyed the basic concepts and the characters and such so I'm like I said I'm really hoping that I do enjoy the book because I enjoyed her other book which seemed less serious than this topic and everything and I like serious stuff and stuff that is well written and flowy and flowery and all that other stuff so yeah I'm definitely glad I opened that one so what is this one? It's all full of kitty hair and everything else because, like I said, double-sided tape. Stupid me. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna take a drink. So this one. This one's a taller one, but not as thick as some of the other ones. Oh my god. Okay, I think I have it upside down. What are you? I have to have it backwards. I mean, you guys probably should see it before I do. This one is Cancade. Or can Candide. The Secrets of the Mist. So I got this a while ago. Like a while, a while ago. Like four years ago or something. And I never read it. Like, I like the idea of fantasy world and fairies and such, and these pictures are kind of cool. Like, where's one of the freaking fairies? Like, so, yeah. I'm sure it wouldn't take me long to read it all. It's just for some reason I never got around to reading it. And I wanted to start reading stuff that was a little bit more not so mainstream. Because I, I do love a lot of mainstream books and a lot of popular books. Some of my most favorites have been popular. But, you know, we got to give some love to the ones you don't hear about too much. Especially when you have beautiful looking fairies. But apparently this fairy here is very, very shallow. And then she gets, like, kicked out of her kingdom and stuff like that. So maybe it'll be both a series and a fun read, I'm hoping. Okay. So the next one. Oh, this one's a, a flip one. How in the hell did I start categorizing my books? Because this one's children's too. My god, I must have been tired when I did these. But oh well, there's still surprises. So this one's Bones and this one's Bites. And it's it has different short stories in it. Like, these are upside down, so then you would like... Because this is the bite side, and then you flip it over, and then you have the bone side. Um, so Arl Stein is on the bone side. David Levithan, or Levithan. I got one of his books, but I have not read it yet, because I just got it from a thrift store. Um... And then Bites, I'm assuming, obviously, is Vampires. Neil Schusterman, who wrote um, Unwind, uh, which is a fantastic book if you've not read it. So 
so he's on the fight side. So these are little short stories, which I love short stories. So yay! Also, I wanted to participate in the half Halloween a thon. I think it's called hosted by the restricted section. So this this will be good. Uh, let's see what you are now. You are very thick. Adventure Time presents Marceline and the Scream Queens. So I was starting to get into Adventure Time. I have to go back and watch more of it because I I can't remember what I was watching. Like I found a few seasons like at the library and stuff and I don't know I just found the cartoon cute and weird and everything and I need to go back and watch more of it. But I found this comic and I'm like oh let's yeah, I paid like three forty nine for this. Like that looks cool. Now on to the big, big dystopian or sci fi or whatever if it may be. Okay, do I have this one? Is... Holy shit! Yay! I finally reopened the fifth wave. So, I was reading this book at the library, and I decided that I was liking it, and I didn't have time to read the library book, so I just went out to Barnes & Noble, and I actually bought the damn copy. Now, the thing is, people say it starts out good, but then it goes, eh. I don't know. I was liking the writing style, so I'm so glad I kept it. I was watching the movie, but I did not watch the whole movie, so I guess I wasn't spoiled. Um, yeah, I, I may or may not just start all the way from the beginning again with this or find where I left off because I hear it can get confusing, so I don't want to be confused. Um, but yeah, I was really enjoying this book and I know it has something to do with, well, it does have stuff to do with what people say are aliens or outside forces and such and yeah. Now, the next one. This one is... Oh, Beaver and Vendetta. Okay. Yeah, I definitely wanted to read more comics and dystopian or graphic novels, whichever. And this has been on my list. And I got to... Where did I get this one from? I honestly can't remember if I bought this. I don't think I bought it new. I think I got it from some some kind of thrift store, but I, I honestly do not remember. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I've definitely been in the mood to read more dystopian and such and books to movie kind of thing you know so I do comparisons but yeah that is my TBR I know it's a little shorter than the other one well not really shorter but yeah I, I decided to pick shorter books this time is what I'm saying anyways thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time bye bye